Hello everybody, this is Budrich and I have just, uh, I think I'm done with this uh, prototype thing of um, a little script that I call make slides here. Check this out. Let, let's uh, run it there. It says first slide and as you can see that's the text we have here. It's green, C2, 2 is green, uh, foreground color number 2. If I press space here, see here, colon, what is this? I'm just a block, hello. That's the same thing as we have here, a block. Pressing it again, we get the Arch logo because it uh, renders this file. Color 4, press again. Two lines because underscore uh, means uh, line break in this context. Uh, color 1, red. F bright, that is a figlet font, uh, bright. So I can change fonts here with, with this thing. Pressing space, will not render the comment here. It will immediately go down to this block. Print that, uh, and here we have L equals one, uh, and L stands for lolcat. So this is actually a, a, a slight rainbow effect of the, on this text. And Last slide here, three lines, uh, really hard to read here, but uh, whatever, it says third slide, three lines. Um, with yet a different font and lolcat set to one. Um, so this is what I want to show you in this video. Uh, it will probably be like uh, maybe two, maybe three videos here, how to do this, uh, create this script. But I don't know, it, it feels like it may be or maybe not this uh, useful, I don't know. Uh, one cool thing here is that I'm using uh, less, which is a pager, you know, to, to display these different slides here. So I get really smooth, nice transitions between the slides. Uh, no weird clear screen artifacts and it's extremely fast to, to print this uh, and, and generate this slide deck or whatever. Um, and another benefit with uh, using less is that you can navigate back and forward as you can see here and you could even uh, do things like this if you want to do the, do that you know and that's best, best of all you can just quit and then you you got a clean nice terminal you don't have to clutter your terminal with weird ascii art stuff right um and I think this first video we, we focus on how to center uh, a block of text in a terminal context uh, I've actually written a, a blog post here uh, about how to center a block of text in a terminal context, but let's do a video version of that. Uh, and it's not that uh, complicated or difficult really. We need to know two things. Uh, we need to know the dimensions of the terminal and we need to know the dimensions of the block of text we need to center. We know, when we know those two things, it's easy to calculate how much we want. We have to adjust it to center the output. Um, let's create a block of text. I use figlet here. Figlet block prints this. Let's put it in a variable. There, now we have a variable called the block. And if I echo that, it will also print our block here. Uh, the dimensions of this block is uh, the height of the block is the number of lines. Uh, so we could just do pipe this to word count, uh, lowercase l will print the number of lines in, in this block here, eight. Uh, the width of the block is, uh, we could, uh, uh, count the number of, of characters in each line here uh, and then see which one is longest but uh, WC has uh, another option capital L and that will print the longest line in uh, the text so there 36 that's the width of our block um, I guess we could store uh, these as well let's call it block W for block width is equal to this. And then we can do 
block h block height is equal to this. So we got the dimensions of our block, we also want the dimensions of the terminal. And when you um, are in a terminal like we are now and typing directly into the terminal, you can actually see the dimensions of the terminal by looking at the environment variables uh, lines. We print here, we have 25 lines in total in this terminal apparently. And you also have one that's called columns 76 because this is 76 columns wide. And here you can see this, this is like some extra space. I'm not sure if it's I3 or URXVT or whatever it is that uh, uh, extends the window like this. And that is also uh, good to know when, when we center this, it will not be pixel perfect centered, you know, because we have things like that, uh, that we just uh, don't have any control over. Uh, But we will not use these environment variables, lines and columns, because they are only available uh, from the terminal itself. Uh, you cannot use these inside a script, because the script doesn't know about uh, the lines and the columns uh, variables. Instead, we will use uh, tpot, tpot lines and tpot calls contains the same uh, uh, values. I guess we can put these in, in uh, Let's call it term width is equal to tpot calls. Term h is equal to tpot lines. There, now we have our four uh, values here that we need. To center this block here uh, horizontally uh, in this terminal, we want to move it to the right. Uh, and we will move it a number of columns is equal to half of the number of columns here. And this value is of course uh, term w, the width of the terminal in columns, minus the width of the block is the same as yeah, the number of blank columns. So we could do blank c or something is equal to we do some math, so we need this double uh, parenthesis term w minus block w echo blank c prints 40. Um, and we want that means we want to move this block. 20 spaces in this terminal. Of course, if we change uh, um, the, the terminal, then the values changes, of course, if we change the size. But let's not do that now. Uh, let's just assume these are the dimensions here. So we want to pad this 20 spaces to the right. Uh, I have found this uh, to be the best method. First, I create a variable called uh, or let's call it spaces. Now we do this. Uh, blank C divided by two S. There and then space, then this. So print f uh, percentage this uh, calculation here, which will result in 20. So percentage 20s, meaning uh, print a string, pad that string uh, with 20 spaces, and then the string is a space itself. And this will actually create a, 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 a 20 spaces long string here for us. can demonstrate that with by doing spaces hello spaced there. This is padded 20 spaces I believe. Um, and to pad our block 
20 spaces. Uh, we can use, uh, for example, Z. Replace the beginning or substitute as the beginning of uh, the line with the content of our variable spaces. And do this globally. So each line we will replace with the beginning with spaces. And then I use this uh, and that will print our block centered here horizontally in this terminal. Nice. Um, to center it um, vertically, let's clear the screen first. Uh, it's almost the same thing, you know. Um, We create a variable called blank L, which is terminal height minus term block block height. Seventeen is the difference between the height of, of, of the block and the height of the terminal. Uh, and then we want to insert blank lines, uh, an equal amount of blank lines above and beyond that uh, our block when we print it. Uh, and there are different ways to do this, but um, I found this to be nice. We create a variable, let's call it vpad, vertical padding. Uh, we use the same method, uh, printing half of the number of blank lines, uh, creating a, a, a string uh, with only spaces uh, equal to the number of half of the blank uh, lines. Um, then we replace all spaces in our variable here. Double forward slash like this, it means replace all. If I just, just do this, it will replace the first space uh, with something. But we want to replace all occurrences with the new line character. And I'll write it like this, dollar, single quote, backslash, and single quote. I know it's super weird, but this works. Because it doesn't really work to store blank lines in a variable, because they will uh, get truncated automatically. Uh, when you store stuff in variables in bash, it will automatically remove uh, trailing blank lines, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure what happens if you do echo vpad here. Yeah, you see, we got uh, new lines uh, stored now in this variable when you, when you write them like this. Um, that means we could do. Yeah, also we need to do this. Uh, this is uh, the set command that centered the block. We store this uh, in a, uh, or we can replace the block variable with the output of this uh, command here. Now we got echo block will be automatically centered or, or already centered. And that means we could probably do echo vpad. Yes, we can do this. Vpad. Not 100% sure how this will look, but we'll see. Ah, not perfect. <laughs> So this instead, this is what I've been doing uh, using printf. There, we got a center block in the terminal. Perfect. And of course, it, it, there are some things to take, uh, the, the, so it's not pixel perfect as I mentioned, you know. Uh, one is uh, the number of lines in the terminal, teapot lines. Yeah, now it's 25. So 25 divided by 2 in bash, since it doesn't have floating point numbers and there are no half lines or anything, it will floor this value. So this will uh, result in 12, 25 divided by 2. So that means it's not already not perfect. One, one above here will be 12 lines and here it will be 13 lines and whatever. 
but it's good enough. Uh, and I think uh, make a break here in the video. This is probably the most uh, complicated thing with a bunch of ooh uh, math, you know. <laughs> The rest is, is, is much more fun and straightforward and yeah, we continue in the next video. Thank you for watching, uh, have a great day, bye bye.